welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.101 and the statement it has is a paint store chain produces and sells latex and semi-gloss paint okay so there are basically two categories of the painted store so let me write them here as well so this is given data okay and given data let me represent this x l semi-gloss so based on long range sales the probability that a customer will purchase latex paint is 0. Point. so the probability that a customer will purchase latex paint is 0. 0.75 so therefore the probability that it will not purchase the latex paint is what though that will be 1 minus 0. 0.75 or 1 minus p of l so if he is not purchasing the latex paint he will definitely purchase the semi gloss because these are the two categories in the store or in the production that a company has been producing so therefore it will be what it will be the probability of purchasing a is 1 minus 0 0.75 which is of those that purchase latex paint 60 percent also purchase roll so in this scenario you can see that this is the condition that if he purchase something he, the probability of purchasing the other thing is given so in this scenario he has already purchased the latex paint so therefore i want to find out in which he has already purchased the latex paint and the probability that the person will also purchase a roller which is let me write r which would be 60 percent which is 0 0.6 okay. similarly but only 30 percent of semi-gloss paint buyers purchase a roller so therefore now here as well the probability of purchasing roller given that he purchases the semi-gloss which would be how much that would be 30 percent or 0 0.6 so the statement here is that a randomly selected buyer purchases a roller and a cane of paint what is the probability that the paint is latex so what do i want to find out i want to find out the probability that he buys latex given that he has already purchased roller and this is here have i want so in order to do so let me write the solution here and in this solution the required quantity is this one this is what this is the what we quantity so here in order to find it out according to the base theorem what we know here is that the probability of the latex given that r is purchased is probability of r given l multiplying it with the probability of l whole divided by the probability of the roll so this is what we want to find similarly in this scenario the probability of r would be what this would be the probability of a roller buying in all the scenarios and here we have two scenarios either he will buy latex or semi-gloss or and here i want to write here that probability of purchasing roller given that he has purchased the first category of the paint and that is l and what is the probability of l this has to be multiplied with this similarly the probability of the purchase of roller given that he will purchase the second category of the paint multiplying it with the probability of the purchase of that so we have this thing and let me write these values here so i have already known these values and this value is given already here this is 0 0.6 okay multiplied with the probability of l which is 0 0.75 similarly probability of r given s so probability of r given s is already given that is 0 0.3 and probability of s is also given that is 0. So this is what we have and let me let me 
So let me put one in A. So putting these values and the other values here as well. So these values are also here. So let me write these values here probability of R given L. So this is here and this is 0 0.6 multiplied by probability of L and this already given here as well. This is 0.75, 0 0.75 and divided by the values which are given in the form of equation 1 and here. So let me write these values here 0 0.6 multiplied 0 0.75 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 0. Okay. So when I will add them and then multiply them and divide them what will i get here i will get here 0 0.8 5 and you can also prove it at the correct and what this is this question which is what which is basically the probability that he will purchase the latex given that he But wanted to find out and this uh, so that's it for today in which we have seen another application of the base theorem if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon